Our institution has been very proactive in promoting information and education about Alzheimer. Myself, my partners, uh, Dr. Sud and Uta, uh, they talk to the community. I go and talk to the community. We also educate our own primary care physician. Very often, we have we held seminars or we go to visit physician in their own office, providing one-to-one -one education on how to diagnose dementia, um, how they can help the family, how can they refer to our center when they feel their resources have been exhausted. Um, also, another branch of what we do is clinical trial. Clinical trials offer to our patient and also to patients who are referred to us by other clinicians the opportunity to access new treatments before they are even available in the pharmacy. Many patients enter into clinical trial mostly for the hope to be exposed to treatment that can treat this disease, but also the clinical trial provide education, provide a much closer monitoring of any individual medical care. I can't count the time that during a clinical trial we found patients that had other problems that they would have not known. We had patient going into AFib during our visit. We immediately took them to the ER to be managed. Um, we discovered people who had uh, uh, bladder cancer, for example, or other disease that if they would have not been in a clinical trial and closely monitor, they would have not known until who knows when and until maybe it was too late to manage. So clinical trial provide a much closer monitoring of all physical ailment that an individual can have, but also um, offers this opportunity to be exposed to new treatment. Obviously, there are some risks. Any medication, whoever takes a medication, is exposed to risk. We are very concerned about that and our patients are monitored very closely. I supervise all the clinical trial and I am primarily responsible for our patient safety. So we at this time had very few side effects, all were manageable and so far our patients have been managed extremely well.